Well, since it was established in 1930, top management positions in the Nigeria police force has been dominated by male officers. The Nigeria Senate has now commenced legislative actions to completely remove all forms of gender discriminatory provisions in the Police Act. The lawmakers took the decision after a bill seeking the amendment of the Police Act of 2004 to expunge four provisions discriminating against female officers passed second reading on the floor of the Senate on Thursday. There is more in this next report. Women make up a small number of the over 371,000 officers in the Nigeria police force. This low number is often blamed on the strict laws guiding the conduct of female police officers. But lawmakers at the Nigeria Senate are hoping to change this grim statistics with a new bill that seeks equal rights for police personnel. Sponsor of the bill, Senator Onyeuchi Ezenwa, highlights areas which the bill seeks to correct. Regulation 122 restricts female police officers assigned to the general duty branch of the MPF to telephone clerical and office orderly duties. B. Regulation 123 prohibits women police from drilling on the arms. C. Regulation 124 mandates female police officers to apply for permission to marry, while the intending fiancé is also investigated for criminal records. There is therefore a need to expunge the above regulations, and it is not reasonably justifiable in a democratic state like Nigeria. The bill thereafter gains the support of other lawmakers who say female police personnel should be allowed to marry individuals of their choice and also take up more responsibilities. Globally, in UK, in all European countries, the best law enforcement um, personnel are female because they's, they've been trained to do so but we are not doing that in Nigeria and I think it's not fair. It's high time we take the bull by the horns and if it's some of these primitive laws that have been made that have kept our nation in bondage of some sort and take a decisive decision to get rid of it and give us a constitution that will make us more progressive are more modern in our, in our lives. A male counterpart can marry a criminal. Nobody will go to check whether the, the woman he wants to marry is a criminal or not. A male counterpart does not need to write to ask for permission. And if you check today, you will find that in the detective cadre in the police, there's no woman there. Because they restrict them all to, and it doesn't mean that they don't have the same brains like we as men do have. Senate President Ahmed Lawan also throws his weight behind the bill, suggesting that it should be extended to other law enforcement agencies. It will also encourage us to look back into the other services, the immigration, the prison service, and other uh, similar paramilitary agencies to find out if this kind of obnoxious systemic discrimination against women are there so that we are able to, to deal with them uh, expeditiously. Following the debate, the bill was subjected to a voice vote and has now been referred to a Senate committee for further review. I'll read a second time. Say aye. Those against say nay. Aye, sir. If this bill is eventually passed by the Senate and assented by President Muhammad Buhari, women will be more encouraged to join the Nigeria police force and effectively take up more tasks and responsibilities like their male counterparts. Fidelia Agunja, TV360, Nigeria.